update from Spain this week. Well, the first thing is I liked to live chat last week, so we're going to have another one tomorrow around the same time as we did last week. Um, next thing is my work contract's actually running to an end now. Uh, I managed to get an answer. I don't think they actually wanted to give me an answer in this sense. They were hoping the next batch of contracts would be signed off. But everybody's stuck in limbo. I've spoke to a few people, and they've all got contracts sat there waiting for the golden signature that allows them to put the work towards us but it's basically just been um, shelved at the minute for whatever reason so that was a bit of a damper so I've got three weeks left on contract um, but as soon as I updated my LinkedIn to being available in three weeks I already had three companies approach me about work um, and in all honesty, the work I do, I have a lot of demand anyway, so it's not really a bad thing. Um, I also know that this company I'm working with at the moment, if they get another batch of work come in, they are very likely to approach me because they're very happy with the work I've done for them. Um, so no complaints, got me through the winter. The work kicks off generally in the second week of February in the surveying and facilities management for the contracts because as they start to renew, come up to budgets for the government contracts, etc. because they want to spend the money before April, everything just kicks off. So no no complaining there. Uh, what else about? Oh, yeah, because I was waiting on the contract. Um, the property I was wanting to buy um, has basically um, had an offer put in. Um, the annoying thing is I've got money sat in the bank, which I could use as a deposit, but until I get my next contract set up, I can't take a contract to the bank because I haven't actually got an official contract. Um, so right now I have to let that property go unless something changes within the next couple of weeks before they actually buy it. Um, I've got enough money to actually pay 50% of the mortgage straight off, but at the same time, that's my money I keep for the next 12 months so I'm not really wanting to touch that until I've actually got some solid work anyway so I'd rather have no stress and no worry and let it go uh, rather than be worried about work coming in and keeping the money rolling while um, we've got the mortgage paid off so hey ho another damper <laughs> uh, but on the uh, Plus side, which is why I'm not really fussed as well, is quite simply, I've got my Spanish residency. I'm now officially a Spanish resident. I've got my little green card. And we're on to the next stage of getting April and the kids um, onto my, uh, sorry, becoming fully resident themselves. I can go up to the non-EU uh, office now and start that process. We've got documents, we're just waiting for a couple of friends to process for us in Manila um, because we've got to get all the documents notarized and, you know, for the wedding, birth certificates, etc. And then sent to us um, and then take it into the meeting, get it processed and then we're Spanish residents. Everyone's happy. We're all 100% official and the trip to the Philippines will then happen after that. So this week, good week. I'm going to cut this up short um, simply because we've got a live chat tomorrow. Anything you want to discuss in this or anything else, please feel free to comment and ask your questions. Thanks for watching.